here you can see the outside of the plasmoid structure and you can see that it's a steep sided cliff that falls away into the plateau area out here that we've looked at before and so the channel itself is where I believe the magnetic fluid resides and it creates these kernels around the outside of these channels because if it was the actual material that appears to be kind of like created or deposited it wouldn't have this steep side and then fall off into the plateau it would be like a curve onto the surface, wetted onto the surface. Now you can see where the material is <coughs> removed here and I believe this is because it's quite brittle and it, it kind of is a bit sandy in fact which might give us an indication as to what it's made of maybe, don't know. But. Uh, so I'm actually doing this with my hands. I would love a kind of lens like this that would give the ability to focus a slightly different depth <laughs> than basically touching the material. Now look at this. This is very typical, in my opinion, of a magnetic fluid structure. It's given a hole here in the center of this meander. See how possibly I've chopped off the top of the kernels on that area there. Look at the kernels there. So the more I do this, the better I get at it. That is hopefully the way things work. <laughs> into that hole there. Beautiful, just beautiful. Look at that. Look at the form, the structure, everything there. Such an honor to be able to look at this material and share it with you all. Look at that. Look at it, honestly. Have you ever seen anything quite so beautiful? looks so simple when you just look at it with your own eyes but it's much more complex what's going on look at that, look how steep the sides of that channel are and how they are so nodular and it's almost like, if you remember the edge of this material, kind of where it interacts with the brass plate, it kind of converts it into this almost like pumice. Even the areas that aren't converted into the... You see how it's kind of just lost the... <laughs> I describe these as butterfly eggs, you see there? You've got the sandy substrate that's been created very porous like almost like miniature lava and it's lost the been damaged and lost some of these butterfly eggs or kernels on the surface wow just look at that look at it stunning Just stunning, look at it, look at it. I'm going to go and maybe look at the area at the top end here, which we've looked at before. Definitely getting a handle on this. How to inspect it. Look at that.
Now there's a channel at the end here. It kind of goes right off the end. Look at this. That is a plasmoid channel and it goes all the way out until it basically drops off the end. You see it kind of like balls up on the end there. It comes to here and then there's a kind of balling up going on. But look at this channel. Look at the damage to either side, this kind of sandiness that you end up with. Let's go and have a look at the uh, caldera somewhere over here. Somewhere over here. Let's follow this track down. Look at this. There's the outer ridge. There's the damaged area in there. You see all the kernels are kind of broken up. So it is very brittle. There's a fibre there. So somewhere over here, look at that, look at all those colours, it's just breathtaking. Look at that, really get an idea of how rich and textured this surface is. Look, there's another kind of bleed through area there into this area over here. <laughs> here, look at this channel here. How perfect the oriented to perpendicular nature of the channel the kernels are. Here's our paisley. Beautiful. Look at that. Look at that. Just beautiful. And this is one of the first structures that really struck me. Again, look at the <clears throat> extremely steep-sided edge here, and then it falls away to the plateau. Steep-sided edge. Again, it's covered with these kernels. And as we've established by looking at the end on the what looks like smooth down the bottom isn't smooth as well, it's lumpy, not quite in the intense kind of kernel formation that you see on the edge here. Now this is the bleed through area, I don't know if we can get into the focus on the bottom there, so there's the end of a piece of magnetic fluid here and then it comes out into our little caldera and look at this, look at this, just beautiful, look at that. Wow. So it just occurred to me that this Samsung S7 was capable of doing 4K, so I thought, well, let's have a look to see what I can achieve with it. And you are seeing it right now. This is the 4K view. 